Attraction isn't rational, yet most of us pride ourselves into being common sense beings. But if a guy you're into triggers deep attraction, your logic might go out the window and you might find yourself in a relationship or a situation that is horrible for you, your heart and your self-esteem for months or even years. So today I want to go beyond the obvious and shine a bright light into seven types of men you're likely to fall for, but should never date. Let's get real. You might have in your head a list of attributes you're going for in a guy, but sometimes somebody out of the blue shows up with a different set of qualities that feel so intensely alive, validating, exciting, fun, refreshing, that you throw the list you've carefully crafted out the window and give this man a big chance. And the problem with that is sometimes these guys you give a chance to have glaring red flags that if you're not aware of, or if your intensity gets the best of you, you might really waste some time and do a lot of damage to your heart and to your well-being. So the first thing I want to say is if you are watching this video because some pain in the past, you've gotten burnt. You, maybe you've been disappointed, you've been betrayed, you've been led on by guys who didn't really know what they were doing or didn't really want the type of relationship you wanted, but were not communicating with you. My heart goes out to you and I'm going to have a specific ask of you in this video. I'm going to share some ideas with you that you might find interesting, relevant, and very applicable. That might be a tendency for you to say, well, I should have known better. Or I should have known this 10 years ago. Like you shouldn't have. No one's taught you these things before. The fact that I'm sharing these things with you is not for you to beat yourself up for not knowing them, but that you today can draw a line in the sand and say, I'm going to make better decisions going forward. I don't care how old you are. I don't care how many times you've fallen before. If you make decisions that are different and better, it is possible for you. And yes, I'm talking to you right now to find deep devotional, committed love in this lifetime, even if you've never had it before. So I want to give you some hope by showing you some patterns you can recognize and you can see from a distance that can help you make different decisions, ask different questions, and in many cases, move on or run away. Now, I am not saying by putting men in these categories that this encompasses the totality of these guys. Obviously, I'm sharing this tongue in cheek in such a way that you can understand the patterns that are running through this guy's actions so that you can make better decisions. This is not black and white. Some of this, the intensity, the frequency, the way it's showing up might require a conversation. Some of this, the intensity and the frequency and the toxicity might require for you to really move on strongly. The first type of guy you might strongly, and I say strongly underlining it, fall for, but you never date, is the non-committal honeymooner. Here's what I'm talking about. You might find certain men that feel very charming, very good looking, tall, strong, uh, ambitious. They know what to say, how to say. They know how to look at you. They show up in such a way that you feel swooned a little bit. You feel maybe like this guy is someone that you've been waiting for. Because he's showing up, he's saying the right things. He has the right combination of confidence and yet still being present with you. But here's the problem with some of these guys. Some of these guys who are showing up this way are only showing up this way because they are addicted to the honeymoon period of the relationship. That means the conquest, getting somebody excited, getting them to a point where they now fall for the dude. As soon as the woman falls for the guy, guess what? He's lost interest. He's moving on to his next target slash conquest. And it's not something that he's doing consciously. Most of these guys are not doing it consciously, even though of course, there's some guys who do it consciously, but the challenge with the situation is that the intensity, that's the kryptonite in the situation, the intensity sometimes is so strong that your rational thoughts elude you, that the red flags that you can usually gauge for are maybe going out the window because your heart is saying, give me more of this. So what do you do with someone like this? Pacing is your only recourse. Well, obviously you can walk away, but if you're still interested in getting to know someone, pace yourself, take longer for everything, longer between dates, longer to be physically connected, longer to make the idea in your mind that this guy is the guy you've been hoping for, longer to stop dating other guys. When you pace yourself, you can see the pattern. You can see that this guy is going to show up excited. 
lose interest. And if you're not the girlfriend at the moment he's losing interest, then you can move on. It's not exciting, but it's doable. If you're fully connected to him emotionally, sexually, by the time he loses interest, then it's really, really painful. Second type of guy you should avoid connecting with that is somewhat alluring is the empathetic rescue project. Who is this guy? A guy who's intelligent and a guy who has an emotional openness that sometimes is deep. He's vulnerable. He's sharing. So if you're been connecting with avoidant type guys, and here's a guy who's basically sharing from his heart, he's being present. I mean, that's the water in the desert you've been waiting for. Here's the problem. If what he's sharing is, I mean, problems right now, I'm deep shit, <laughs> metaphorically speaking. If what he's saying is, I'm in pain, I'm going through a lot. And part of your nurturing spirit wants to save this man, bring him up from the challenge that he's in right now. You might be in for a really rough awakening. Why is that? Well, we all are works in progress. We all have challenges, but I'm talking about someone who's dealing with a type of challenges that will prohibit him from making you a priority in his life. Type of challenges that will prohibit him from really showing up the way you need to. So when you have a strong sense of emotional connection with someone, but he is in a deeply challenged space and you feel like the intensity of the connection or the fact that he's vulnerable allows you to give him a hall pass for months and months, it's a rude awakening. So what needs to happen? A reality check. Reality check is asking yourself, if this man were exactly as he is today, would I be happy to be in a relationship with him? And if the answer is no, because he's not available right now, no, because he's lost his job and he's been searching for a year and he hasn't found it, that's not the best place for him to step into a relationship. He needs to find his work. He needs to find his meaning. He needs to find something. Well, if that's the situation, then the reality check will help you know if you're simply saying, in the future, someday, when this minor thing, which is not so minor, changes, then he can be a guy for me. Third type of guy who is sometimes very alluring to lots of women, but very disappointing is the confident avoidant. Why? Because this guy tends to be masculine and decisive and bring certainty and bring an air of, I can make shit happen. And when a guy shows up that way, if you've been connecting with guys who are wishy-washy, if you've been connecting with guys who are maybe insecure about themselves or not showing up the way that you would hope them to show up, maybe with the same level of ambition or same level of taking on the world, then you might start feeling like this guy is the answer to your prayers. But here's the challenge. If the guy is avoidant, if the guy is not showing emotions, if the guy is not in a place in his life that has the desire for deep intimacy, then what you're doing right now is creating this connection with someone who will always reject you, who will never want you at the same level that you want him, where you're more into him than he's into you. So what do you do when someone is showing up this way? Well, before you throw everything out the window and say, I'm out, you test, you ask for what you need. You say, you know what? I've noticed that when we have conversations, I tend to share this much. And sometimes the answer that comes back from you is a lot less than the openness that I'm used to. Can you share more about that? Can you tell me what's going on with you? Can you tell me more about your willingness to share? Ask for something. This is just one specific example, but ask for something specific. Have a direct request. Challenge him in the best of ways to show up more, to go into his heart, to be more vulnerable. Now, if you find that after several requests, he can't do it, then do yourself a favor and move on. Stop waiting for that guy who is emotionally unavailable or doesn't really want to have that level of depth and intimacy to be your guy. You can be the strongest, tallest, most ambitious man if he doesn't have an emotional openness and if he's not looking for that level of emotional, physical, and spiritual connection that you're looking for, then it's probably not going to work for you. Fourth type of guy that you need to move away from is going to be the emotional manipulator. So who is that guy? A guy, that, again, that typically knows how to connect with people, with women specifically, knows how to help you be seen, knows how to help you feel validated. And the moment you feel that way, he starts trying to change you. He starts trying to tell you what to do, how to do it, how you're doing it wrong. It doesn't happen from the get-go. It just typically happens when there's some hooks into your heart. And that might mean guilting you into certain behaviors or shaming you, which is worse, or maybe some confusion. You might find yourself not knowing what's going on, but feeling like raw, like you're trying to prove yourself to him. You're not understanding why, but whenever you see him, you feel horrible about yourself. 
you feel less than. You feel like you're always trying to make yourself better, but it's never enough. Whenever you catch yourself in a situation like this, here's the recourse for that. Get some distance and get some help. The more you try to do this alone, the more challenging this will be. You might find yourself for years. I've helped women many times who've been years into a relationship with a guy who was a manipulator and until he took some time for the distance and they got some help. And that can mean therapy. That can mean something, a support group sometimes. It can mean coaching, depending upon where you are on the spectrum of healing. That helps you wake up to the reality of what's going on. They could have stayed there for even more years. Now, before I continue with my last three points were really important. These three guys that you need to move away from. If you're a single woman watching this, I'd be willing to bet that you're not fully aware of the root cause where you're still single. What I've done is I've taken 13 years of helping women in every walk of life, every continent, every kind of wealth challenge you can imagine. These are women who have never had the type of relationship that they wanted to finally get it, to get commitment, commitment for life. And I put together a quiz you can take in about 60 seconds that will reveal to you the number one reason you're still single. If you want to participate, all you have to do is go to the first link in the description. You'll find a page that looks like this. Answer a few simple questions. And in 60 seconds, you'll have two things. The answer to the elusive question, why you're still single, and a custom report that's going to share with you the number one action you can take starting today to attract the guy you want in a fraction of the time. Now, if you haven't been paying attention, if you only paid attention to this, this will be worth your entire time of watching this video. The fifth type of guy you need to avoid is the confused man. Confused man is many times more dangerous than a guy who is blatantly abusive. Why? Because it's easier to spot an abusive guy and run away from him. A confused man is the guy who never quite knows what he wants, never quite knows what he's looking for, never quite knows if you're it or not for him. So you can invest, especially if you have some wounds that need healing and trying to prove yourself to him for years and years and years with someone who will never, ever, underline ever commit to you for life. If what you want is a life of commitment or marriage with a guy who is really not sure what he's looking for, you are wasting your time. You need to move away, give him the space he needs to get clear on what he wants without you in his life. And once he gets that, move forward. Take action or not take action. If he comes back and you're with somebody else, then I guess he lost out. Sixth type of guy you need to avoid is the growth adverse man. Growth adverse man is someone who doesn't believe in getting help, who doesn't believe in improving himself, who doesn't believe in the power of learning and really taking an active role into his life. That doesn't mean that he's on therapy and coaching and self-support groups. No, no. It just means that he's a guy who is open to those things where you share a book with them about something that he's interested in improving and he takes time to read it, that he's listening to things that are valuable in terms of making changes, that he would be open at some point in your relationship if things got difficult to go to therapy. You have no idea how many women I've connected with who have to end things with guys because they didn't want to go to therapy with them and they didn't want to get help. And they have reached the maximum point of moving forward. If the guy's not open to getting help when he cannot do it on his own, then you're really in for a hamster wheel of hell <laughs> for a long, long time. Last type of guy that I need you to move away from, from a compassionate space, but also from a steady space is the wounded passive aggressive. And what I mean by that is a guy who's experienced hurt and pain in his life. He hasn't worked on himself. He hasn't worked on moving forward, but he reserves the right to let you know in funny, but really not funny ways, in passive aggressive ways that he's wounded. So he's the type of guy where you'll do things and they will never be enough for him. He's the type of guy that will let you know after an amazing evening, he'll share something with you that is really punchy and painful to your heart, even though it's uncalled for. He will joke about things that are not joke worthy and he will end the statement after the painful thing he shared with, haha, just kidding or someone who will reserve the right to maybe not call you for a couple of days because he felt pain from something you said. And instead of addressing it with you, he's going to hurt you in the worst possible way, especially if you have attachment issues and he's just going to evade you for some time. Reserve the right to move away from someone who is this way. Now, the first line of defense will be a boundary. What does that mean? That when the guy is showing up with things that you're not feeling excited about or feel disrespectful that you say, hey, this is not feeling great for me. State what you need. 
and gauge his reaction. He's responding with defensiveness. When he's responding with even more passive aggressiveness, this is the point at which you move on. I hope you find this helpful and insightful. If you do, it means the world to me and to my channel because this is how I grow and help more women. If you click like and subscribe, if you find this is helpful to someone you love, please send it their way. And if you want to continue learning how you can attract the guy you want without any for gimmicks, manipulation, games or stupid techniques, make sure to watch the next video right here.